Hey there, YouTube Ponderous Brad Goodspeed here. So I've been absent a little while, apologize for that. Um, but thankfully I got on my first push of making Halloween stuff. I've been very, very lazy this year so far. And I'm working on my new epoxy mask. I had showed you a way I was thinking of going with it a long time ago. I, then I gave up on that, wasn't very inspired, and I moved on to this. And I don't know if you recognize it, but this is uh, a mask inspired by my Haunt logo. Um, Sorry for the mess around here. I've been carving foam the last kind of day, a couple of days to make uh, these horns that you see. So like the other epoxy mask, this is made with epoxy sculpt. The horns are made with warbla uh, surrounding a styrofoam uh, core that I car that I carved basically using my um, my tools from Hot Wire Foam Factory and knives and. Um, yeah, I wanted to have the horns be very sturdy because this is a kind of a very rigid mask that I like to have a finished look to. I didn't want it to be kind of very costumey, so these are extremely lightweight and with the warbler around it, extremely tough. So uh, it's hard to tell perhaps, but this area here is just a clay armature. This is going to be removed. So it's got and kind of got the teeth coming down. It's going to be painted to look like some sort of old metal and then there's actually going to be a beard attached to the inside of the mask that's going to hang on down underneath that. So making progress with stuff, it's not like I'm not doing anything. Not doing much, but I uh, wanted to get this mask sort of underway. Still lots more detail work to do on the face with the Dremel, uh, but it's coming along okay. So there you go, there's my epoxy Butcher of Provincetown Haunt logo mask for a new character I'm developing this year, which I'll reveal at a later time. So until I see you all again, happy haunting.